Hi guys, welcome to Daily Technical Forex Forecast for the 2nd of March. My name is Andrew Shinetsky, I am a Technical Analyst at True for Fix. And traditionally, we begin our forecast with the Euro USD currency pair. The price showed a pretty sure growth yesterday. Moreover, the upward movement was supported by the increased volume, and now the price is testing the volume accumulation 1.2267. 1.2360 that's why we have two possible scenarios of trading this currency pair the first one is a test of this huge volume accumulation and a strong rebound is priced down which will be a great better signal and will allow us to open short positions with the euro the second scenario is the breakout of the upper limit of this volume accumulation which will be a great bullish signal and it will allow us to open purchases with the EURUSD currency pair. So with the euro we need to wait for a strong and sharp reaction of the price on the volume accumulation. The pound. The price also corrected upwards yesterday but the growth of the price was small and supported by the uh, average volume so that we can consider it as a bullish signal. Moreover, given a recent sharp fall of the price, we still should give advantage to short positions with the pound. We can enter the market after a stoppage of the upward correction of the pair and the resumption of the sharp fall supported by the large volume, which will be a more reliable and accurate signal for entering the market. A stop loss should be placed about the beginning of the abrupt drop and the potential of the deal is around 100 110 pips so with the pound short positions after resumption of the sharp fall of the price the yen as predicted the price broke down the lower limit of the local consolidation the breakdown move was supported by the large volume and it was sharp so it's a great better signal and of course now we should consider exceptional short positions with the yen Besides it, we need to point out the new level of resistance 106.39, 106.50, which contains large volume. So, as you can see, all factors tell us that we should regard only sales with this currency pair. We can enter the market after a smooth upward correction of the price in order to get a better entry point. A stop loss should be placed above the fresh level of resistance, and the target is the local minimum. So with the yen, short positions after a smooth correction of the price up. The Canadian dollar. The price tested the global level of resistance 1.2900 but failed to break it out. After that, the pair showed a strong fall supported by the large volume. And at the moment, the price is locked in the local consolidation between this level of resistance and the previous level of support 1.2714, 1.2731. That's why the best decision with this currency pair is just to wait for a confident exit of the price from this range. The breakout move must be abrupt and supported by the large volume in order to ensure us from fake breakout. And of course, it will be a more reliable and secure signal for entering the market. While the pair is trading within this consolidation, we should skip this instrument from our trading plan. By the way, given the presence of the strong local uptrend with the Canadian dollar, I still prefer the scenario of opening purchases with this currency pair. The Australian dollar. The price corrected upwards yesterday, but the growth of the price was smooth and supported by the average volume, so that we can't consider long positions at the moment. Moreover, there is a strong volume level of resistance 0.7790, 0.7800. That's why we still should give advantage to short positions with the Australian dollar. We can enter the market after the test of the level of resistance and a strong rebound of the price down. A stop loss should be placed about the level 0.7800. A potential of the deal is around 100 pips. So with the Australian dollar, waiting for the test of the level of resistance and a sharp rebound of the price down. And our last instrument for today is gold. The price 
grew up strong yesterday, the growth of the crisis started after the formation of the new volume level of support 1305.16. So now the pair is locked between this new support and the previous level of resistance 1327.20, 1330.00. Thus, the best decision with gold is just to wait for a confident exit of the price from this local range. The breakout move must be sharp and supported by the large volume, which will be a more accurate and stronger signal for entering the market. While the pair is trading within this consolidation, we should skip this instrument from our trading plan. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This indicator confirms our deals with the pound, with the yen and with the Australian dollar, so it's a great additional signal. These three currency pairs should be in priority today. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. See you. Bye bye.